Um, so if I was to do dimensional analysis as if it's a rate, so I kind of want to up this to like the next level, okay? Because when we are looking in physics, a lot of the things that we are going to do, a lot of the things you're going to calculate are going to be as a rate. So when I say 50 miles per hour, that actually means that I'm going to cover a distance of 50 miles per, means fraction bar, every one hour. So if I drive at the same rate with my cruise control on, every hour I'm going 50 miles. 50 miles, 50 miles, 50 miles, okay? But if you look, I'm going to convert that to kilometers per second, okay? So that means I need to convert the miles and I have to convert the hours, okay? So you can set this up. Some students don't like how all of it gets pushed together with one straight line. So you can make these into individual fractions. That is totally fine. It does not matter, okay? So which do you want to convert first, the miles or the hours? Miles. Okay. Miles, do you see how it's on top of my fraction? So to get rid of it, I want to go miles down below. Do I have a direct conversion from miles to kilometers? I do, yes. One mile is 0.62 kilometers, OK? So my miles cancel out. And now my answer would be given in kilometers per hour. But do I want it per hour? I want it per second. Do you know exactly? in how many hours, how many seconds there are? Yeah. You're like, ah, I'd rather go minutes. OK, so most people, so look, hours now, do you guys see how hours is on the bottom? So to get rid of hours, I need to put it on top. So most people are going to go hours to minutes. So they'll say one hour is 60 minutes, and then they'll cancel out the hours. Now I have this in kilometers per minute. I don't want it kilometers per minute. I want it in kilometers per second. So one minute is 60 seconds, okay? A lot of you guys are gonna get pretty good and say, hey, this in one hour, six times six is add two zeros. So most people are gonna do that. So they're gonna jump one of those steps, which is totally fine, okay? Now, when I go ahead and I calculate this, make sure we're using our parentheses. So I'm going to take 50 times 0.62 times 1 times 1 divided by parentheses, 1 times 1 times 60 times 60, and then hit equals. What answer do you guys get? Yeah, you're supposed to calculate that. Thirty-one. Really? Oh no, you didn't use parentheses, did you? I was like, it shouldn't be point. Okay. All right. So up here, I just had fifty. Let's make it fifty with a decimal point, so we can use two sig figs. So that would give me point zero zero eight six right kilometers per second you guys still good with that calculation okay remember those leading zeros not significant okay when you're trying to determine sig figs use what is given to you first okay you are not then going well this conversion factor only has two this conversion only has one and then saying only one you are only using what is given to you at the get-go okay all right, so that would be if I have to convert twice. So converting both my numerator and my denominator, just the exact same thing that you would do if you were in math class. If hours is on the bottom, I had to put that conversion up top now, the hours up top to cancel, okay? Kind of, but it doesn't matter because one hour is 60 minutes, 60 minutes is one hour. It's just where you place it on the fraction, okay? Sure. All right, let's take a look. Well, what if I wanted to use dimensional analysis with something that would be a volume or a area calculation? So if I have meters squared or meters cubed, if I have 10, and again, oops, I'm going to put a decimal point there. 
If I have 10 meters squared, you guys agree that there's 100 centimeters in a meter, right? So can I just say this is 1,000 centimeters? This is a trick. It's a trick. You feel that, right? You're like, ooh. It's too easy. It is too easy. Because guess what, guys? If I have 10 meters squared, you did tell me that in one meter, there's 100 centimeters. You were right there. But look, meters cancels out with only one of my meters above. Oh, do you see that? How this is meters times meters? So when you guys were in math class, x squared over x does not get rid of all of it. I right? can't do it that way. So the next step then, I need to get rid of another meters on top. So I'm going to put a meters down below, centimeters above. So now I can get rid of my final meters, and I'm going to get centimeters cute, or centimeters squared. So 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, and then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. Look at that. So do you see, look, my idea O oh, a thousand actually isn't right. Okay. Yeah. So do you agree this is meters squared up here? Okay. So if it's meters squared, that means it's meters times meters. So to get rid of meters times meters, you need to divide it by meters twice, right? So that's why I set up this conversion twice. No, like I said this, it's like a bunch of other problems. All right, we'll work on it today. We'll work on it. We'll see if we can get you there, okay? Um, I will point out one thing. There is a couple problems on the worksheet for today that when you do your calculation, Say I have miles and I want to go to centimeters. I could go miles to kilometers and then meters to centimeters. Or I could go miles to feet, feet to inches, inches to centimeters, right? Do you agree? I start and end with the same thing. It doesn't matter, okay? The only thing is, is on the worksheet, you might notice that you'll get a slightly different answer. And the reason is, is because it deals with how precise the conversions are. So for example, on here, we use the kilometer is 0.62 to one mile. Well, really it's 0.621 something, 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 right? So because that value is rounded, the number is gonna be slightly off, okay? So I showed that on the first one and kind of put in both ways, whether you would have done it going from miles to meters, or if you went miles to feet and then the feet to the centimeters, okay? Both ways are correct. As long as you're doing that conversion, that is fine, okay? If you're being as precise to a ridiculous number of sig figs, you'll always get the same answer, no matter where, which way you go. Um, but because some of ours are rounded and aren't as precise, that's why you might see a slightly different answer, okay? All righty.